What survival myth is completely wrong and can get you killed? Drinking water from a cactus. If absolutely needed for survival, you could get some water out of a fishhook barrel cactus, but only in limited amounts. Most cactuses have various acids and other fun things in the water that will make you shit yourself to death. Dehydration in the desert isn't a laughing matter, and you don't want to lose the precious bit of water left in your body to the desert ground. Running in a zigzag to outrun an alligator. Alligators don't run for long distances, so this will probably just waste your energy. They can also climb some fences and trees as well. The desert is hot and little clothing is best. Cover up during both the day and the night. The sun will burn you and dehydrate you very quickly. During the night it's really common for people to die of hypothermia because the temperature drops so fast. And honestly living here, during the winter it gets to the low 20s pretty often. And the wind is awful. Edit to add, it's dry heat here. There's no moisture in the air majority of the year. You can drop dead from heat stroke, barely sweating. That moss grows on the north side of a tree. It can grow all over the tree, so it's not a steadfast rule that you should make important decisions solely on. If you're in a tornado, open all your windows to equalize the pressure inside to match the outside. If you're in a tornado, opening any window or door will create a wind tunnel that rips your entire roof off. That bullshit change your voicemail if you are lost PSA that was making the rounds over the last year. You need a cell signal to change your voicemail, if you have a signal then why wouldn't you just call for help? Moreover it misses the most important thing about US cell phones and being lost. 911 will work on any cell tower regardless if it's in network or even if you have an active phone plan or not. So in an emergency always try dialing 911 regardless of your phone appears to have signal or not. Edit, to the dozens of people who replied that you are supposed to change your voicemail before going out, this is still a bad idea. If you're lost or injured in the woods, your survival depends on being found quickly. Waiting for someone to get worried enough about you not coming back to try calling you is just going to waste precious time. It's much better to just tell your friends slash family where you will be and set up a check-in time so they know you made it back safely. Lightning never strikes twice in the same place. If lightning has found a path that it likes to the ground, it's extremely likely to strike there multiple times. That why lightning rods work. Follow flying birds to find water they can simply be flying to spend a night anywhere, so we can't rely on them. If a shark is coming after you, swim away. If a shark is coming towards you in the first place, it's most likely just curious and wants to check you out. Swimming away and thrashing about will further intrigue it to keep following you. Instead, redirect it by running your hand along its side and carefully positioning it to swim away from you. Side note, if one happens to bite you, poke slash stab it in the eyes or pull on its gills instead of bopping it in the nose. Gills and eyes are far more sensitive than a shark's nose. Edit, loads of replies about how punching underwater is practically impossible and you'd be 100% right. Fixed. Concerning frostbite, do not rub someone's frostbitten skin or pour hot water on it to warm them up. Such measures will damage the skin even more severely. If you're in a hot area, don't ration your water, drink when you feel thirsty, and search for more water. Edit, the myth to be avoided is rationing your water. Don't ration. Just because water looks clean doesn't mean it is. You've got to boil it or distill it to actually have clean water. You cannot eat everything that an animal can eat. There are things animals can eat that humans find toxic, so eating everything you see animals eating can lead to you potentially eating deadly berries or mushrooms. Drinking alcohol when you are freezing will keep you warm, it won't, it will bring on hypothermia much sooner. Most of the stuff Bear Grylls does. Like eating raw meat, picking and eating fruit out of bear shit, or squeezing the juice out of elephant shit and drinking it. Split to cover more ground. Conserving water. You should not stretch a glass of water over four days. 
When you are thirsty, you need water. If your plane is crashing, an inflatable raft makes a terrible parachute. Pulling out something that is impaling you. That you'll be totally safe if you only eat plants slash fungi you recognize. Hemlock looks a lot like wild parsnips. Basically all wild almonds will kill you if you eat more than one. And of course there's the Chris McCandless potato seed thing. You can drink water from a cactus. Any liquid inside a cactus will be highly acidic and likely to cause nausea and diarrhea, further dehydrating you. That you can give somebody CPR, and they'll be fine moments later like nothing happened. Not a myth, but I feel there is too little awareness about using wet rocks near fire as they can potentially explode and cause serious damage and hashtag X200B, example, do not use river rock as a cooking surface between direct fire and your food, nature's version of pressure cooker with a loose old gasket. You can survive a moose attack. That's it, that's the myth, because no you fucking can't. Edit, holy baloney, this my most upvoted comment on Reddit. Well, at least 5,000 people are smart enough to know that moose are a national and galactic threat. Cheers, lads, lassies and laser people. You know if it's a myth, but I remember Bear Grylls had no qualms about getting wet in his show, but getting wet is extremely bad in survival situations in most climates. Stand in a doorway in an earthquake. Scrolling through these comments, knowing full well that my ass isn't going outside city limits any time in the next decade. Drinking your own piss. People who survive do so despite drinking the wee-wee. But it sure is fun though. Myth. The rubber tires on a vehicle will insulate you from ground and protect you from lightning. Lightning doesn't stop for two inch of rubber, though the car will act like a Faraday cage and protect you from the electrical current unless you're in a convertible, a motorbike or any other vehicle that doesn't cover you in all directions. Also don't lay down on the ground during a thunderstorm. You increase the risk of being shocked by a ground current, which can be pretty dangerous. Another thing, don't take shelter under a tree or a gazebo, they can explode or light on fire when struck. If a nuclear bomb is exploding in your general vicinity, hiding in a refrigerator will not save you.